What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is not going to be sure I'm going to make a Suburban House, this is the 70th installment of Suburban House, and I did take this one from the last build battle, which might not actually be out yet, but it, it is from the build battle, if that's a spoiler, but I'll try to actually get the build battle out first, that'd be ideal, but uh, yeah, here it is, um, there is something special that is going to happen with this, which I'll talk about on the flip side of this. But, um, yeah, it's a nice house. I definitely like how this one turned out, and that's all I have to say. So, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to have is a 31 by 22, and if you want to make the back area, that will add an additional 14 off the back, making this a 31 by 36. Um, and also, I'm going to be probably showing you custom trees and how I made the two that were in the build battle. Um, which, it was in the build battle, but I'm going to kind of describe, like, what my thought process was when doing that. But, along with that, I'm going to start off with the materials that you're going to get, and I'm going to talk about something quickly. And the materials you're going to need to start off are brick block, birchwood planks, as if it, this isn't a suburban house, and that doesn't happen every time, smooth quartz blocks, black stained glass panes, man, such a generic set, stone bricks, Pillar quartz blocks, trip wire hooks. Hmm, I don't like that specific number. Spruce wood planks, and I guess spruce wood stairs. We'll have to get rid of these two at some point, and then rework stuff. So the thing that I want to talk about is the interior for this is going to actually probably be uh, tutorialized, although not by me, which is something I've never done before. Uh, Gaming Warehouse, who many of you know, uh, I'll link his channel in the description. He should be doing an interior tutorial on this at some point. Preferably right around when you're seeing this. So, um, I'd recommend going and checking that out because his interiors are very good and he's a very epic builder. So, um, yeah, with that uh, epicness out of the way, let's get this thing started. So, starting from the front left hand corner of your 31 by 22, or I guess 36 grade golf golf if you made it. You want to count backward diagonally to the right by one, and going back, you're going to want to just place 16 birchwood planks. Like that. Bring the back block right by three, and come back to that front block and bring it right by one, just so you can. It'll almost look like Hangman, except stupid. Uh, and then you want to... I don't know the number off the top of my head. Give me, like, 39 seconds. Um, there were less than. You want to place three rows of birchwood planks on top of that. Hopefully, everyone's we'll having a good day or night. I am for the most part. It's always cool, I guess. I don't know. There you go. You do want to orient yourself back at the front, and you want to come to the bottom brick block here, and you want to bring it back di yeah, back diagonally to the right with a sideways pillar quartz block going left to right. The sideways being left to right. Bring that right by four. <clears throat> God. And then bring that entire thing up by two rows. The lower of five. Not like that. There you go. Place a trip wire hook in the bottom center. And then going off from this, you want to, from this corner, go forward diagonally to the right with the brick block. Right one, and back by five. Yeah. Bring that little backwards L shape up with three birchwood planks per brick. And then at the top front, connects the, connects, apparently, yeah, can, I love connects. Uh, connect those two birchwood planks together above the garage door, like so. Now. Get rid of your pillar quartz blocks and your trip wire hooks, and I guess get out mangrove planks and mangrove doors. You actually only need one mangrove door, and we're going to do that, and then we're going to skip some stuff. So what I think we're going to do this is we're going to do the rough thing, and then we're going to add the little slab details afterwards, because I think that's a better way to do this. Um, Let's start with the wall, I guess. Yeah, you want to from this back right brick block, this one right here. It's not really the back one, it's kind of this one. We'll just sort it back. But you want to go back diagonally to the right with a brick block. Bring it right by five. Go forward diagonally to the right with a stone brick. Back diagonally to the right with a mangrove plank. Right with a spruce wood plank. Then a mangrove plank. Forward diagonally to the right with a stone brick. Back diagonally to the right with a brick block. And then right by four. 
or sorry, right by five, not four. Also, something that's worth mentioning is that these, the blocks under the doors, which are gonna, I think, we all be spruce planks. Um, like, no. Well, it's gonna be the spruce or grass or whatever. It's obviously, it's most likely going to be changed. This one might stay. Well, you'll just have to see, I guess, if you decide to follow the interior, which I would definitely recommend doing so. Anyways, bring each brick block up with a birchwood plank there again, because we're doing that a lot. Thanks, Minecraft ambiance. Then going left or right or right to left on top of either one does not matter. You want to place a birch plank. Smooth quartz block. Two black stained glass pins. Smooth quartz block and a birchwood plank. And again, do that on both. Copy that row one more time. And then you want to place three rows of birchwood planks on top of either of those. And then we're actually going to keep building these two up and then we'll build up the center one, which is kind of weird. I don't normally do that, but it's a weird day, so. There you go. That <laughs> oh, that looks very dumb. Um, now, on top of either one, you want to do the same thing that you did on the bottom. So going left or right or right to left on top of it, it doesn't matter. You want to place birch plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pins, Smooth quartz block and a birchwood plank. Copy the row one more time. We're going to actually just skip on the porch for a while because I just don't feel like doing it. Well, it's going to be better if we actually skip on it for now. And then at the left one, you want to take those top two birchwood planks and bring each one left with a smooth quartz block. Two black sting glass pins. Smooth quartz block and then a birch wood plank. And I would recommend just you actually only do need one row under that of birch, but you can do more if you want, but you only like are required to add one. Because of the way that the roofs connect. It's kinda weird actually how that works. Cause it feels like it would be more than that. Well, I guess not. That's really weird. Hold on. No, I guess that is right, but it's just, I don't know why, it's not making sense to me. You don't want to place a row of planks on top of either of those sections. So you're going to have a really weird look right now. And that's fine. You know, sometimes it do be that way. Um, but yeah. Now, let's do the center area, and then I think we're going to work back on the right side, because that is apparently easier. Bring each stone brick just to start off up by, hold on, nine. So it should be as tall as your birch, and it'll give you this weird effect, which actually kind of does look cool. Um, bring each mangrove plank up by three, and then connect them together at the top lock. Place a mangrove door in the center there on top of that spruce wood plank. And then you want to connect two rows of stone bricks together above the mangrove like this. There you go. Then you want to place three rows of black stained glass pans on top of that. And then a row of stone bricks. Like so. Now, let's go to the right side now. Because we're not doing the porch yet. Because, well, mm, let's. Uh, yeah, just wait because I already told you to move. Get rid of your mangrove planks and your mangrove door, and you want to get out dark oak door and smooth quartz stairs. And first off, you just want to bring this wall back by a block. The brick and the birch, like so. So the birds and the bees, the brick and the birch, already. Do I have an image of this? I hopefully apparently I don't. That's cool. Um, but I know how it works roughly. You want to from this brick block here. You want to go forward, back sorry, backward diagonally to the right with a brick block, and then you want to go right with a dark oak door, and you want to make sure you place it on the back side of that block like that. That's going to be very important, and I know I don't normally do that, but it it'll just make more sense that way. And then place a brick block to the right of it. Bring that brick block back by seven. Yeah. And then go left by two. Oh, 
On top of every brick block, place one birchwood plank. I'd recommend actually just bring the entire right side just up by, we'll say four for this, for, the intent, for all intents and purposes for now. Although it might be more, it might be less. I can't recall the number off the top of my head. I think it's one more than that, but I'm not sure. And also bring the far left row at the front and the back also up by four. So I'll have little slits like that. And either one, you want to go from top or bottom to top, sorry, and you want to place an opposite on smooth quartz stair, two black stained glass panes, normal smooth quartz, smooth quartz stair, like that. And then it looks a little bit more weird on the back, and I actually did it differently on the build battle one, but it's fine. You might not have actually seen that. You probably will not have seen that at this point in time, which is funny. Uh, <laughs> I think I copied it in the build battle, but no, I copied the this from the build battle, which is weird. Um, place another row of birch on top of that entire thing. And then we'll worry about the other stuff later. Who cares? Just like that. Now you can, I guess, bring the top back. Yeah, just bring the top three rows of birch here on the main wall back by... 13? No, sorry, 11. Yeah. It should be a total of 13. That's why I thought I got confused. And then connect those bottom three virtual planks down to the ground until you're one away from the ground in which you want to place your brick blocks again. Brick. There we go. Like so. Now, come to the back and you want to orient yourself as though that wall that we were just working on is the left and the garage side is the right. And then the front is technically backwards and the back is technically forwards. And you want to bring this bottom brick block here that's closest to you, this left one. You want to bring it right by five. Then go back diagonally to the right with the sprucewood plank and go bring it right by three. Then go four diagonally to the right with the brick block and right by eleven. And then go towards the garage, aka I guess technically backwards by two. Bring each bur er, brick block up with a birchwood plank. I almost said bring each birchwood plank up, which would be a lot of birchwood planks. But no, we're not. We're not there. Technically, you do have to bring most of them up with a block of some sort, but that's not important. Then you want to go left to right on top of this, and you're going to want to just go the entire thing, and you want to place smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pens, smooth quartz block, birchwood plank, skip over the gap, birchwood plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pens, smooth quartz block, two birchwood planks, smooth quartz block, Two black stained glass pans, smooth quartz block, and a birchwood plank, and then you can just place two at the side there. Copy that row one more time. Break. There we go. And then you want to place three rows of birchwood blanks on top of that entire thing, and they want to span above the gap. As well, it just wants to go straight across. <coughs> so, um, something I also want to point out is that the windows may not be arranged the way that they are. Um, I'll have to actually talk with Gaming Warehouse and see if he wants to change them or whatever. And see if he will change them. So, if they get changed, you know, I apologize. So, you could theoretically just leave the walls blank if you wanted to. Or you could put the windows where they are. Again, I'll just have to see because... I'm not quite sure on the or on how this is. It's not gonna be like it's not extremely organized. Although the timing probably will be, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how everything goes. Then you want to go left to right on top of that row of birch, and you want to place this time smooth, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass panes, smooth quartz block, birchwood plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass panes, smooth quartz block. Birchwood plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pans, smooth quartz block, two birch planks, smooth quartz block, 
two black stained glass panes, smooth quartz block, and a birch wood plank, and then again place the two at the side there. And then copy that row one more time. Ooh, the two at the side might actually not be correct. But it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And then you want to place a row of birch on top of that. We're actually almost done the main house already. And just I'll just leave the three at the side for now. But you do, I think, want to destroy two total? Yeah. Oopsies. Um, so, coming to the side, you want to essentially break the second and third going down. So those two birch planks are replaced with smooth quartz blocks. Then bring each of those smooth quartz blocks towards the f actual front of the build. So we're kind of directioning back to normal. You want to place two black stained glass pans, smooth quartz block, birch plank, smooth quartz block, two black stained glass pans, oh, please. Smooth quartz block and then a birch wood plank. And then I would just place your one, one row above and below that. I cannot talk. So, other than roofs, porch, door, and the lower level, we're done. Which, that's a lot, actually. Um, get rid of your smooth quartz stairs for a memento. And you want to get out black stained glass blocks. And I think that'll actually get rid of the... We're not going to need the panes again, either, yeah. And come back to the back real quick. And on top of this row of spruce wood planks, there's a couple ways you can approach this. And also, this is going to depend on how Gaming Warehouse wants to the, do the inside. And I want to point that out. Because if he changes, he can change this. I'm going to tell him, like, look, I did the door this way. Change it if you want. There's a sliding glass door. However you want to make it. You can do, you can just do, like, this even and have, like, two rows there. But what I did was I did the two... The two rows to the right, we'll say, from the inside, left from the outside, did two rows of black glass, and the next row I did a row of black stained glass panes. And you can actually just surround that in another row of birch, or at least at the top, just to give it a little something to cling to. But again, that's something that, for when he does it, he can change that or whatever. And, um, yeah. Now... You can get rid of, again, your black stained glass blocks and panes, I guess. And get out, mm, I don't remember what the materials specifically are. Okay, I'm just kidding, yes I do. Acacia wood, which is weird. I don't know if I've ever used that block other than on Little Nightmares 2, but that doesn't count. And we'll go with stone, no, birch fence. You do need stone brick stairs, but that's not that important. So, come to the back of the build, and the back right-hand corner, it's this corner, and you want to bring that bottom brick block back with a stone brick and then an acacia wood facing up and down. Bring that acacia wood up by one. Leave a two-block gap going towards the right side of the build, and then you want to place again your two tall acacia wood, and then bring the bottom one four by four with stone bricks. On top of each stone brick, place a birch fence. This, this is kind of how my staircase looks to my basement. And then it's the sliding glass door at the bottom, actually. But I just did normal doors because I thought that was easier. You can have it either way, actually. I've seen both. I've seen single door, but I did double because it's centered. Um, but yeah, you want to break in between the two acacia wood and place a set of spruce wood stairs. And then you want to just gradually bring them down until you have, I think, only three spruce wood stairs is what you need. Yeah, and then you're going to want to just break down. And this, I think this block right here will be bedrock you're going to have to break and then replace with spruce wood planks, assuming you're in a super flat world. And then, yeah, so you have that. And then I'd bring the acacia woods down by one each. Just break the floor and bring them down. And then bring everything else except for the back wall down with stone brick. So it'll look like this. Get rid of your acacia wood and get out stone brick stairs. And you want to, below the brick blocks on this section here, you want to just place opposite on stone brick stairs. And then under them, I'd place dark oak doors in the back half of that block. And then you will actually have to break another little area on either side and replace with stone brick. So it'll look something like this. Just crack. Cool. Now, and again, you can change that however you'd like, um, but 
yeah, it is up to you. You'll notice I did keep this very similar, although I did actually change this, and I didn't add the fence to the build battle, which you'll, again, if you haven't seen it, you'll see it, hopefully, or if you have, or if it's out and you haven't seen it, then go watch it right now. I'm just kidding. Well, maybe I'm not. Now, go watch that instead of this. That's better. So, let's go to the front. Mm, that's a weird. Okay. Get rid of your dark oak doors and your stone brick stairs, I guess. Yeah, we're not going to need those. And get out sandstone walls and birch fence gates, which is a very weird combination of things. And I'm just now realizing, realizing something that I should have done, and I'm mad I didn't do it. Anywho, come to the front and... Come to the front right hand corner of the actual main house itself. We're not looking at this little shed type thing. It's not really a shed, but you get the point. You want to bring this brick block here forward by 5. Then go left by 6. Left with 3 spruce wood stairs and then 7 brick blocks. Bring the far left and far right brick blocks of those two rows of 7 up by 1. So it'll give you that. Bring each brick block towards each other with a birch fence. And then I did three fence gates, although I actually think doing an every other pattern might look better. Let me see. Yeah, doing an every other pattern is much better. But then at the side, you kind of can't do that. So I do birch fence, two fence gates, and then another fence like that. Bring each of those brick blocks that stick up by one, bring them up with two sandstone walls. Like that. Uh, they don't have, like, birch walls or anything, so, or smooth quartz. If they get smooth quartz, use it. Also, something I forgot on this, and I'm mad I forgot it. It's the gutters. Go watch the build battle if you want to have some minor improvements that I probably forgot. I think there's another one, too, that I just didn't add because I didn't want to add it. But, uh, yeah. And then you do want to fill in the center of this here porch in with spruce wood blanks. So, you're going to need these again if you want to do the deck and stuff. However, for the intentions of this, you actually want to get rid of the last five in your inventory. So, it's going to be the walls, the sandstone walls, the fence, birch fence and fence gate, and then the spruce planks and stairs. Just for now. And then you'll have these four. You want to get on an addition, smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, deep slate bricks, mmm, that's close, deep slate brick slabs and deep slate brick stairs, not actually, um, in your inventory, I just swapped the smooth quartz blocks and the stone bricks like that. Now. The way this roof works is a bit odd, and we're gonna start with the upper roof, because I actually... No, let's start with the right roof, I lied. Let's start with the little, like, weird sticky-outy thing. I only actually added this because of... on the build battle, and I decided to keep it because it'll be useful for the inside stuff. Because we were fiddling around with that in the build battle world, actually. Um... Off the top row of the Bertrand planks here at the right side, you want to place the row of smooth quartz stairs and stick it off the front and the back by one. Bring either those stairs in with an upside down stair facing left, I guess, and then up with a stair facing right. And then go right with a block, and then just place a slab on top of the block. But right of the block, you want to place a stair facing into the wall, and then place an upside down stair below it, like that. It's simple, but it's kind of hard to place. I'm just kidding. And then you can just fill the center of that in with deep slate brick stairs and slabs. Cool. If I can get the darn thing. Oh, this is this is bad. This is when it get, gets classified as bad. There you go. Roof one of like 782 done. Just kidding. There's like five segments, I think. That's one. There's two up there and there's two down here. Let's do, yeah, let's do upper first. Just switch it up a little bit. Off the... Birch planks at this top section. You want to place a row of upside down smooth quartz slabs off the front and the back, and it wants to overhang whatever side it can by one, which is going to be weird with the stone brick section at the front. And then that's going to do some weird things, which you'll see in a momento here. There you go. Now, the weird thing that I said 
Break the opposite on slabs left and right of that stone bricks, and you want to place the smooth or smooth quartz block, and then bring it forward with a stair that is facing away from the center of the uh, stone brick section. Bring the other stair in with an opposite on stair. Up with a stair. In with an opposite on stair. Up with a stair, and then place a block in the middle with a slab on top. Cool. You can actually just fill in that roof right now if you want to. And if you want to also make that an upside down slab, if you think that looks better, it's up to you. I actually don't think either looks that good. I'm not going to... I don't know why. Or you could even do... Mm, I don't know if that would look good either. That'd probably... Yeah, they give you too big of a gap there. And then the overhanging upside down slabs, you want to bring them in with an upside down slab. Off of the slab. In with a block. In with an opposite down slab. Off with a slab. In with a block. In with an opposite down slab. Off with a slab. In with a block. And then in with an opposite down slab with a slab on top. And then do that on the other side as well. It's basically just a gradual, it's a half a block increase per block. Which there's a different way to do it, which I did it that way in the last build because of restrictions and stuff. Restrictions are painful. But, uh, yeah, the next one will be even better, trust me. I already have it sort of... I'm starting to get it planned out, although this one might take a little bit longer to plan out for reasons. But there you go. Kind of got to fill it in, though, which is important. So, to fill it in, the thingy that you want to do is you want to... You're basically going to bring the first set of smooth court stairs that you actually can back with two deep set brick slabs. Or stairs, sorry. And then bring the stairs out with slabs, so back towards the peaks and then bring the slabs back with a row of blocks and also it'll go behind that stair so I know that's kind of a weird explanation but it'll do that and then you can bring the next row of stairs back by I think four yeah and then bring it that far stair outward with slabs and then place a row of blocks behind these slabs and it also wants to go behind the stair and then it'll just be a T of slabs now to finish off the connection and then the rest is just point A to point B. I didn't add a chimney either. That's something that uh, Gaming Warehouse may explore. I know I am talking about that a lot and I apologize. Just things that might change because if I'm doing the inside as well, the things that I would change wouldn't be too big. But with obviously him having a different style than me of like, you know, how he likes his build or whatever, a lot of things could change and I just, I don't know what he's going to do with it. So I'm, I'm giving him free roam to do whatever pretty much although not blow up the house because that's you know that's not really going to help with the interior very much but um yeah watch it doesn't even happen that'd be very funny but not nah, it will happen if it doesn't happen i'm not releasing this video that's i think the motto we're going to go with here so for the side peaks there's one specific thing you want to do and i want to make sure i get this right which i should you want to place one row of birchwood planks do you do you just fill, actually just fill them in with birch and planks, that screwed up already, that's cool. And then, from the center you want to count to the third block down, it'll be, and then you want to break that birch and plank, so it's going to be a one and a half block gap from the top. And then place a smooth course block there. Uh, it looks like a forehead. And I can do that on both. So you can actually just do like this. So basically, if you ha where you have your peak, it'll just be the first row of the center will have a smooth course block. And then we're going to add a mangrove trapdoor over that to look like those weird... I don't know what they are, but they're like vents. I don't know. I don't think they're actually, like, usable anymore. Like, shutters. Like, shutters, I mean, you... Like, Western time, you'll see shut... Western times, shutters are actually used. But nowadays, they really aren't. But I, I think it's something like that. I'm not sure, though. But... Now, for the lower roof. You're going to want to actually just place a row of... Ooh, don't do that. You want to place a smooth quartz block on top of the far right sandstone wall. And then bring it all the way to the left with deep set brick blocks until it's on top of the last one. Bring that back with a row. I guess we're going back this time. Not, not normal, but whatever. And then go back from the smooth quartz blocks with two upside down smooth quartz slabs, and then back with from the deep safe brick blocks with two upside down deep safe brick slabs. And then bring each upside down slab up with a normal slab. I know this is a weird peak, it'll work hopefully. 
And then bring the slabs back with a row of blocks. Like so. So that did work. The peak that I was questioning earlier. Or at least the how that math worked, but it does. And then you want to place a row of smooth quartz slabs off the front. Like so. Cool, I guess. Or something like that, I don't know. Bring the far, whatever side this is, far left slab forward by one, and then off the left side of the garage you want to place the row of smooth quartz slabs, and it wants to be up diagonally outward by one. Also, I would recommend filling in, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but just, once you come back to the right side here, just fill in this little gap towards the back of the garage. It's going to only be three perch wood planks that you have to place, but if you look at it from the other side of the porch, it's big. And then at the front only, I'm saying this because you can't, I mean, you kind of can do it at the back, I guess. You want to bring each, I guess, yeah, also if you want to do it at the back, go for it. You want to bring each smooth cord slab in with a block, in with an upside down slab, up with a slab, in with a block, in with an upside down slab, up with a slab, and then place a block in the middle. And you can, I guess, do it at the back, technically. It'll just run into the wall. It's going to be right below the peak, which is nice. And then you're going to want to... Again, at the front only, above this middle birch plank, place a smooth quartz block, and then fill in the rest of the peak here in with birch. And also just fill it in at the back. Yeah, because it doesn't actually line up with the center anyways. And then all these are going to do something with. Um, and front one might be tampered with later on not by me but what you want to do is you want to bring this front big boy peak here this one you want to essentially bring the blocks back and you want to kind of connect it to the other peak I don't know how else to describe it it's basically what we just did with the top two except they're like different it because it's gonna be like it doesn't math the same it's weird it's hard to explain but, like, if you know what I'm saying, that shouldn't have worked that way. I don't know what that just did. But, um, yeah, because it's the two and the one. It's kind of weird, but y if you just look at it, you'll figure out how it goes together. I don't know how to explain it properly. Kind of my job, though, explaining it properly, but it's fine. You know, you'll figure it out. <laughs> it's great. Now, I need to just double check. But that is your uh, exterior done, except for a couple of things, which... Um, we're gonna do. So, clear, whoa, clear inventory and get out. I guess hop bar. Birchwood slabs. Stone brick slabs. And mangrove trapdoors. You can do oak trapdoors as well, but mangrove have more of a color contrast. And over the three smooth quartz blocks that are kind of, they kind of just are chilling there, you want to place mangrove trapdoors and, I guess technically open them, but make them so they're up against the wall like that. And it'll give you a little bit more of a fancy detail. Circle. It's a circle. And then in the top corners of the garage, place upside down birchwood slabs. In the top corners of the front door, place upside down stone brick slabs with the mangrove is. That'll give you this effect. Something else I also didn't mention, which this doesn't have to pertain, it doesn't particularly pertain to the outside, although it pertains to the outside detail. Um, You want to, or what you can do is if, you have a pathway here, let's say, and then it'll lead into the garage. That's at least how it sometimes is, although it depends on how your neighborhood is. And then if you have it like that, I'd have like a little median here with flowers. Like, it's not really a median, but it's like a little grass area or dirt or whatever where you put flowers and stuff. Uh, you can have it or you can't. Most people have flowers in it or bushes. I think bushes normally you'll see. Uh, at least as far as what I've seen. Uh, sometimes neither. Sometimes it's just something random. But the point is they're there. And, yeah, that was something I added on the build battle, but, again, I didn't add here because I for gore, a.k.a. forgot, just funny funny terms. So, if you want to add the plus 14 to the back, well, you're going to need the 14 blocks of space first. That's, I think, something important that you need to understand. Um, But you do need some materials, and to start off, those are going to be, maybe start off, yeah. Stone bricks, spruce wood stairs, and spruce wood planks. Sprucewood fence as well. Nah, we don't need slab. No, we do need slab. Oh my god, we do need sprucewood slabs. But I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, brown carpet. Uh, I want to say it's stripped spruce logs or wood. It doesn't actually matter because you can't see the top of it anyways. 
Um, cyan terracotta. And then we'll go polished deep slate walls. And I guess those spruce wood slabs that we need. Cool. So... To start off, you want to come to... Well, first off, I just want to say that we're going to orient this as we did when we were doing the back. So the stairwell is the left side, the stairwell to go downstairs is the left side, and the garage is going to be the right side. We're orienting it like that because it just is going to be easier that way. So you want to come to the little left window, the one to the left of the sliding glass door, and there's only one to that side. And you want to take the right or more row of paint, which is this row, and you want to follow it down to the brick block. And you want to bring this brick block here back with th four upside down spruce with stairs facing right. Then place a strip spruce log behind, or I guess towards, towards you from that. Then go right from that with two spruce wood stairs that are normal, facing towards you. Then strip spruce log. Six upside down spruce wood stairs facing back. Strip spruce log. Then go towards the, f I guess technically backwards with four upside down spruce wood stairs facing right. So you have this shape. Bring each of those strip spruce logs up with a strip spruce log, and then bring each upside down spruce wood stair up with a spruce fence. Bring each fence and log up with a brown carpet. That'll just kind of give you a like top to it. Uh, you don't actually need to do this. Um, I think I didn't really do anything on the front for that, but it's fine. And you could do white carpet or whatever, something easy. There you go. I think that adds a nice effect. And if you want to also like place maybe spruce wood slabs on these instead, just to make them look taller, it's up to you. Let me actually see how that looks. It's up to you. I think it actually does look better that way. I'm going to leave that, yeah. But you do want to fill in the center of this in with spruce wood planks. Oopsies. Now, something else I did that isn't really that necessary, I just think it adds a little bit of a, it makes a little bit of a difference, is under each upside down spruce wood stair, just break the grass, or for me it's actually moss, and you want to place stone bricks. This just gives it a little bit of a texture underneath and a little bit of a color pop down there, which it's not really necessary, just think about adding it if you want. I think I just heard thunder and a Minecraft ambiance sound at the exact same time. That was weird. Oh my god. Um, but, anyways. I think it's, it sounds like thunder, but I can't tell if it's thunder. It was some noise that sounded thunderish. Anyways, you want to come to the left ish strip spruce log tower thing, and you want to leave a two block gap going left and place a sign terry cut. I'm going to turn on the lights. It's dark. It is 7 30. But that's not, well, not that dark, but it's dark enough to, for me to want light. Then bring that cyan terracotta toward, or I guess forward, dangling towards you with 10 polished deep slate walls. And then a cyan terracotta. Leave a three block gap going right and place 17 polished deep slate walls. Unless you want to make the N1 cyan terracotta, doesn't matter. Three block gap, cyan terracotta. Back towards the house with 10 polished deep slate walls. Cyan terracotta, and then left with 10. Polish deep slate walls. You want to break under each polished deep slate wall and place a cyan terracotta. I thought about starting with this, but I just didn't. I found a hole. That's kind of suspicious. And then again, if you want to make these cyan terracottas here, you can. I'm, that might actually look better. It's up to you. Let's try to remember to show you how to do the trees. And... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to mention it yet because it's not important. Frick. Frick! It's all going wrong. Kind of kind of sarcastic, kind of not. <laughs> and then... Hold the phone. Oh my goodness. Just do it. It's not that hard. There we go. You want to break the entire area in here, including, like, in these little, like, I guess almost entryways. And you want to replace the floor with stone bricks. Now, I'm actually going to wait till after I'm done breaking the grass. The grass sound is extremely freaking loud, and I don't understand why. So I apologize for the loud grass. 
stupid grass. Nobody likes grass. They really should just, like, turn it down, man. Like, every other sound, whatever, you know, it, it, none of them are loud. But then there's grass, and it's just, like, ear-deafening. Ear-deafening? I mean, you're... I could have just said deafening. Whatever. Um... Something if you want to add detail to this would be also putting in stone in the mix, almost giving it like a weathered look. Like certain areas kind of just like were weathered down. I did that again, I did it on the build battle and it it created a really weird effect. And I don't know how to describe it. It almost looks like this, like it made the stone pop a little bit. It was really weird. But if you watched it, you'll know what I was talking about. Or you'll know what I'm talking about. It, like, it, I don't know, it made the stone look a little bit cooler. And it almost did look like it was weathered. So just, you know, this is a little bit of an option. Or a campfire or whatever. That might be cool to do. There you go. Fancy. Now, for picnic tables, that's what I did. Um, what I did was I, just anywhere, you can place three spruce wood slabs. That'll be the right side of it. Bring each slab left with two spruce wood planks and then a spruce wood slab. Like that. And then just do a bunch of those or however many of those you would like to do. It's up to you. There you go. I just did two and I'm going to do two again. Clear inventory and get out black concrete. Dark oak trap doors. And I went with activator rails. I've seen uh, detector rails get used a lot for this. But activator rails kind of have that like cooked look that's a weird <laughs> but you want to place probably not not up against the wall because it'll the walls will stick to it you want to place two black concrete right and left of them you want to place dark oak trap doors like that then you want to place placeholder blocks behind the black concretes and you want to place dark oak trap doors and make sure they're i guess technically open so it'll give you this effect kind of looks like the top of the grill and then you can place activator rails in the gap there, or I guess on top of the black concretes. Or you could have placed the activator rails and then placed the trappers off the rail, right? It's more precise, but yes. So, once you've done that, that's it. There's your outside done. Now, I want to show you what I did for the trees, because I really like how they turned out. So I just used oak wood, and because spruce wood slabs look like it, I went with spruce wood slabs, and also fence. And I ended up using trap doors instead, because I couldn't use slabs. But, uh, and then a mixture of flowering azalea and normal azalea. And then I just made a trunk. And I just made a little trunk. Like, however high I want it. Let's say, I'll say four blocks. And then I made a little area of, like, flowering azalea leaves. Kind of something like that, almost. Almost like a Minecraft tree. And then I made branches, almost, just by kind of taking that and just bringing it out. So, like, I'll come to this side and I'll just go, like... Let's bring it out like maybe like that or something. Hold on, this one might might turn out, might not turn out that well. And I just did that on like three or four sides or whatever. And then if you want, if you got like a weird looking shape or something, you can kind of just roughly go around and be like, okay, so there maybe, there, something like that. That kind of doesn't look very full though. That's the only thing that I'm noticing. I'm gonna make this more full. Hold on. Told you it wouldn't turn out for that well. Yeah, that's okay. So you kind of have that branch effect, especially at the back. I think the back actually might look a little bit better. And then kind of just, I went back afterwards and I destroyed some of the flowering azaleas and replaced them with normal azaleas just to kind of get rid of the amount of pink. And then under some of them, like maybe these ones here towards the base, I just placed spruce wood fences. Kind of look like branches. And then maybe an oak log with a slab on top as like a root or just a slab or just a block or whatever. And then you could add like actual roots sticking out like this or something. Just kind of something like that. You know, that actually doesn't look terrible. Turned out okay, and then again, if you wanted to do anything else, like add some fancy stuff to it or whatever, you could. But that's just kind of a rough small tree. I can't make big trees, so don't even ask me for that. <laughs> could also use spruce wood stairs, but um, yeah, probably like, I don't know, there's guys out there that can actually make good trees. But I mean, this is just like a rough tree for someone that isn't like, someone that's not looking for an incredible tree. But it's, it's something. 
But yeah, I want you to know that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the X tier for your Suburban House, the 70th installment complete. Uh, thank you so much guys did enjoy this video, and again, go make sure to check out Gaming Warehouse's channel in the description below, as he should hopefully have the uh, interior out in like a day or two, hopefully, we'll see, I'll coordinate that. But if you finish your dinner, and I will see you in the next one, peace.